Hi guys, welcome to William's Kitchen. I'm William and today I'm very happy, not only because I'm filming a video in English, which means that I get to share with you an incredible French recipe, which is Paris-Brest, but also because I'm teaming up with my favorite YouTuber ever, Gretchen Price from Gretchen's Bakery. Gretchen makes one of the most beautiful cakes ever on YouTube, so please go check her channel out. And we decided today to team up on a pâte à choux collaboration, which means that she's going to share with you these amazing ice cream stuffed profit rolls. They look so good. I cannot wait to try and make this recipe myself. So don't hesitate to click on this photo to watch her video. And over here I'm going to make Paris-Brest, which are a classic in French baking um, that you can eat at lunch, at dinner time, but also as a snack. Okay, so first of all, we are going to make the pastry cream that we are going to fill our uh, Paris breast with. So first of all, you're going to need 50 centiliters of um, milk. I'm using regular milk. Then you're going to need four large eggs. Then you are going to need 60 grams of flour, a pinch of salt and 40 grams of sugar. Here I have 150 grams of butter, very important, my butter is at room temperature. And then we are going to need vanilla, of course. And for the praline part, we are going to need uh, 75 grams of uh, hazelnuts and 75 grams of almonds. And finally, 150 grams of sugar. So in my saucepan, I'm gonna cook my sugar so the 150 grams of sugar and then I'm adding the hazelnuts and uh, almonds and what I'm gonna do now is cook those until I get a caramel texture and until my uh, hazelnuts and almonds are entirely covered in sugar. Okay so as you can see my mixture is perfectly cooked so now I can turn off the heat. Okay, so I've put my mixture in a food processor and now I'm going to mix it until I get a very smooth and nice paste. Okay, so now that our paste is ready, we can now move on and make the rest of the cream by simply mixing our uh, four egg, egg yolks and our sugar. And I'm going to mix those until I get a very smooth and pale uh, batter. Okay, so this is pale enough. I'm adding my flour and my salt, but I'm also going to add my vanilla. Try to use pure vanilla extract, that's very important to a better taste. And I'm mixing those ingredients until I get a nice batter like this. Okay, so here I have my milk that I just boiled and it's very hot right now. So I'm going to add about a cup or so of milk in my uh, eggs and mix those until combined. Okay, perfection. So now I'm going to add another cup of milk in my mixture and mix again. Now I can add the rest of the milk. And I'm putting everything back in my saucepan. Right here. And I'm going to eat this up and mix it until I get a thicker cream. Okay, so as you can see, my mixture is getting thicker and thicker, so it's perfect now. So now I'm going to put it uh, off the stove and let it uh, rest a bit because it's very hot right now. But remember to uh, whisk continuously uh, your batter when you are eating it up because you don't want to have curdled eggs. It's very disgusting and you don't want that. So you have to mix it properly like this the entire time. And this takes about uh, five or six minutes. Okay, so my pastry cream has cooled for about five minutes and now I can move on and add my nice praline paste. As you can see, it is amazingly uh, beautiful. And you can mix those two together. Okay, so I'm now transferring my uh, beautiful pastry cream uh, in my bowl right here and I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and let it set at room temperature for about 30 minutes or until it's pretty much cold and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for about another 10 or 15 minutes 
just in order to prepare the rest of the ingredients and our cream will be ready. Okay, so my pastry cream has been in the fridge for about an hour and now it's time to make it even better by mixing it with our KitchenAid and a whisk attachment. So I'm gonna whisk it for about a minute on high speed. Perfect, so now we can now move on and add our butter that has been sitting at room temperature for about three or four hours, so very long time, because you want a very smooth um, butter that can be incorporated well throughout the pastry cream. So I'm gonna mix those two together until I get a very light and combined cream and we can no longer see the butter in the cream. Okay, so as you can see, my cream is perfect. So now we can put it in the fridge and let it set. And in the meantime, I'm going to make the shoe and then we'll be able to assemble our magnificent Paris West. Okay, so it's now time to make our pâte à choux. So for this, you're going to need 110 grams of butter. I'm using unsalted, but you can use salted if you want. Here I have 140 grams of all-purpose flour. I have a teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt. Here I have a mixture of 12 centiliters of milk. Here I have a mixture of 120 milliliters of water and the same quantity of milk. And then here I have five large eggs. Don't you worry if you use cups because I'm going to write down the ingredients in cups and grams in the description box of this video. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna put my sugar and salt in my milk and um, water and my butter and I'm going to uh, put that on a stove and heat it up until it boils. Okay, so my mixture is now boiling, so what I'm going to do is add the flour entirely in the mixture and then I'm going to work this mixture until I get a bowl. Okay, so as you can see, I have a sort of bowl in my uh, saucepan and the dough is uh, coming off the sides and um, pretty dry. So now it's time to put it on the stove and turn off uh, your uh, stove. Okay, so now I'm transferring my dough to a bowl just in order to have a more smooth and a better texture for our shoe. And now I'm going to work this dough with a wooden spoon and add one egg at a time and beat each time. Okay, so now that I've added all of my eggs, you can see that I have a pretty sticky dough and uh, quite smooth. So this is perfect, exactly what you want when dealing with um, pâte à choux. Okay, so once that I filled my pastry bag with um, a regular tip, just a straight tip, uh, I'm going to form my Paris Brest. So, when you want to make a shape of Paris Brest, you just have to think about donuts and make the same thing. So, here it goes. I'm making with the exact same pressure the shape of the donut, like so. I'm going to do exactly the same all over my baking sheet. Okay, so just before baking, I'm going to add some flaked almonds, which is uh, pretty traditional when making Paris Brest. So I'm putting some flaked almonds all over my uh, shoe. Okay, perfect. So now my Paris Brest are ready to be baked in my preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 356 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake these until golden brown, which will take about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so it's been 27 minutes, so it's time to turn the oven off. And what I'm gonna do is uh, let my uh, shoe in my oven, and also I'm going to let the door open, and I'm going to let them come back to room temperature in my oven. Okay, so my shoe have baked and cooled. They are amazing, they look so good. So now we can assemble, since I filled my pastry bag, fit it with a star tip in the end and uh, with my cream. So we can now move on and assemble. So first of all, what we're going to do is take one of your shoe, like so, 
and you are going to use a serrated knife as you can see and cut this shoe in half so now I'm going to take my um, cream and I'm going to simply fill my shoe like so you can use this kind of motion but you can also fill it another way if you want to you can also choose to use a straight tip for example and then you only have to put the top of your um, shoe on and maybe dust a little powder sugar or confectioner sugar as you want like so so I'm going to make my other shoe and I'm going to show you how they look in the end and we're gonna have a bite together so it's now time to taste those Paris Brest and see if they are this good or not. I'm covered in cream, but it's so, so, so good. Honestly, it just tastes like uh, the traditional Paris Brest that you can find everywhere in France in many pâtisseries. So please go make this recipe if you liked it. Trust me on this, it's very easy to make. If you haven't checked your video yet, please click right here to see the video of Gretchen and see how to make those magnificent ice cream stuffed profit rolls. You can find all of the ingredients in the description below this video. Please remember to uh, like my Facebook page, but also to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can also find me on Snapchat, where I share with you uh, the backstage of my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That means the world to me, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.